Joe Biden has made his fair share of gaffes over the past year. Let's face the facts. But this latest decision to invest $5 billion into a national charging network is a brilliant idea. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. Great to have you here on the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. It's early Saturday morning on a weekend here, but I just saw this news and I thought you needed to know what was going on. Joe Biden has announced a five billion US dollar nationwide EV charging network. Apparently it's gonna take five years to deliver, but just imagine by 2026, Tesla supercharger network nationwide EV charging network, all the other charging networks that already exist. There's going to be charges literally everywhere. There's going to be more charges way, 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 probably I think 20 to one when you compare charger locations versus gas stations. And that is awesome. Now the electric reports that the US Department of Transportation and Energy today announced that nearly 5 billion US dollars is being earmarked for a national electric vehicle charging network under the new National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Formula Program established by President Joe Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law. The NEVI formula program will provide nearly five billion US dollars over five years to help states create a network of EV charging stations dotted all over the US along designated alternative fuel corridors, particularly along the interstate highway system. The total amount being made available to states in fiscal year 2022 is 615 million US dollars. States will have to submit an EV infrastructure deployment plan before they can access those funds. A second competitive grant program designed to further increase EV charging access in locations throughout America, including in rural and underserved communities, will be announced later on this year. US Transportation Secretary Pete said, a century ago, America ushered in the modern automotive era. Now America must lead the electric vehicle revolution. Yeah, that race is already won and done. I'm sorry, my friends, Europe and China are way ahead. But hey, it's nice that you're doing something now though. The president's bipartisan infrastructure law will help us with the EV race by working with states, labor, and the private sector to deploy a historic nationwide charging network that will make EV charging accessible for more Americans. On February the 8th, President Biden announced that DC fast charging hardware and software manufacturer Tritium will break ground on its first US manufacturing facility in Lebanon, Tennessee. The facility will feature six production lines that will produce up to 30,000 Buy America compliant DC fast chargers per year at peak production and create 500 local jobs. The White House also detailed more plans for the manufacturing of EV chargers. Siemens will produce 1 million EV chargers by 2025. Let me just repeat that. 1 million EV chargers from Siemens alone by 2025. ABB, which currently manufactures transit bus chargers in the US, will expand its US EV charging manufacturing operations, including level two and DC fast chargers over the next five years. Junamis Clean Energy Partners, a black and woman owned EV charger manufacturer based in Detroit, will manufacture level two EV chargers and charging connectors in a new production facility in Detroit beginning this year. Summer. The new joint Office of Energy and Transportation also launched a new website this week, which can be found at driveelectric.gov. I'll put a link in the description below. Their officials can find links to technical assistance, data, and tools for states and careers. You can find state by state NEVI funding for fiscal years 2022 to 2026 in the link in the description below as well. Here are some more details. These DCFC sites are required to have a minimum of four CCS stalls, a minimum site power capacity of 600 kilowatt and a minimum stall output of 150 kilowatt. Those are impressive numbers. These charges they'll be installing will be good, good quality. So it's not like they're just gonna put a bunch of 10 kilowatt charges all over the place. They're gonna be minimum 150 kilowatt at all locations with a minimum of four per location. This is really impressive news because currently a lot of the charges are not that good, but clearly 
these will be impressive. Now you're probably wondering, are these chargers gonna work? Well, some of the $5 billion is actually being set aside for charger upkeep and maintenance. That should help to maintain the network. Now, Tony McCurdy said this, I think you should hear this, and I wanna know what you think. Such nonsense. Let the free market pay for the chargers. More government giveaways. Don't reply with federal subsidies for oil either. As without oil, all of you will be living in a cave. Now, this is what Nick had to say in response. Yeah, but without EV subsidies, you'll be living in a flooded cave very soon. And we really don't want it to come to that. So let me know, what do you think about the government taking, actually building this network? Do you think the private sector should do it? I mean, the private sector are doing it right now, and I think they're doing a pretty good job. But obviously, I think more funds coming from the government is a good thing. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think about government getting involved in this and investing this money. Is that a good use of the government's money? Is that a good use of your taxes? Let me know in the comment section below what you think think. Now, in response to this comment, there was one interesting response that I thought was worth considering. The Prince says, I agree 100%. Get rid of all these subsidies. If Tesla could build out a substantial and arguably the best charging network, why can't other companies do the same thing? And you know that the $10,000 toilet seat cover will come into play. Companies will take advantage of these government funds, which is nothing new. On that note, you know what? I actually love that this is happening. I love there's gonna be so many charges in America. People won't have this range anxiety anymore because obviously we'll have vehicles with longer range anyway, but then there'll be charges literally everywhere. Much more than there are gas stations right now.